What's up doggies, it's your boy Beanie Kowloon and in today's video I'm going to be talking a little DMT. More specifically whether or not you should be smoking DMT. In this video I'm going to be talking about whether or not DMT is safe, what the experience is like, and what positive or negative lasting impacts will it leave you with, if any. I'm also only going to be describing the effects of a breakthrough dose on DMT as, I mean, the lower effects just aren't as interesting to me. Alright, first thing to look at, is DMT safe? Yes, DMT is safe as long as you don't have any other pre-existing mental conditions. DMT is produced naturally in all our bodies and can be found naturally produced in many different plants and animals. No one has ever died from smoking too much DMT, however there has been anecdotal stories of people smoking DMT alone and throwing up while in their breakthrough and choking on their own vomit and dying. So make sure you have a trip sitter. A lot of people, including myself, think you won't need a trip sitter because it literally paralyzes you, but in my experience, right when I came back, I ended up coming out and waking up my mom, so I'd say trip sitter, pretty important. So DMT is safe physically, now for the bigger question, is it safe mentally? And as I was saying before, as long as you don't have any pre-existing mental conditions, if you smoke DMT, you will return back to normal after like 20 minutes. That being said, you truly can't underestimate how intense this experience is. It's truly a million times more intense than anything you could ever imagine. Because of this, I think issues like PTSD or depersonalization after a trip or just not being able to recover is a serious problem that you might have to worry about. DMT will quite literally feel like you died and then you entered into a strange yet familiar place and then you're overflowed with information that all makes complete sense Then you just launch back into your body and you're just like, what the fuck just happened? If you don't think you can handle literally dying and then being reborn, I, I wouldn't recommend DMT because that's what's going to happen to you. Alright, next thing to look at, is DMT a fun experience? A lot of talk of DMT on the internet may lead you to believe DMT will be the most joyful, majestical experience you could ever imagine. An insane hijacking of your sensory nervous system and right. it produces this spectacular psychedelic effect that's so <clears throat> profound, this hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic effect that's so profound that it literally is like a transcendent experience and changes your life. It's I totally felt possible. Like that to While this can be true, the sheer intensity of this cannot be understated. You will certainly be amazed at whatever is going on in the DMT verse but the visuals you see are just one small part of the trip. The biggest part of a DMT breakthrough is the fact that it feels like you literally died. Like, it's hard to explain, but the second the DMT kicks in, the air is literally just sucked out of the room. You leave your body and you enter what I can only describe as the DMT-verse. And then in the DMT-verse, you're shown all the answers to the universe and everything just makes complete sense and it feels like you've known this all before. And then you're sent back into your body, not able to remember anything you just saw, and you're just left with complete and utter confusion. So fun isn't really the first word I'd think of to describe a DMT trip. It's not something I'd recommend someone does thinking they're just gonna have a fun time dancing around with some machine elves. Another question I often see people ask about DMT is, will it be life changing? A lot of people will have you believe DMT will show you something deeper about yourself or about the world. Shit, even I did this saying DMT helped me quit weed, and spoiler alert, I started smoking again like a month after. DMT will most certainly be life changing as at the very least you're gonna open your eyes to the fact that there's more to this reality than we could possibly understand. But as for learning something that will benefit your life, it seems fairly unlikely to me. Now to be fair, I've only broken through it once, but in my experience, while on the breakthrough it seems you get the answers to everything you've ever wondered and more, but as soon as you're sent back to your body you nearly forget everything and you're left with just confusion above all other emotions. And then if you try making sense of the trip after trying to, you know, get a message from it, it just leads to far more confusion. The way I see it is, whatever's going on in the DMT-verse, whatever you learn, it's some shit that can only be comprehended in the DMT-verse and it's just not meant to be brought back to whatever this reality is. So do expect DMT to be a bit life-changing but don't expect to really take much out of it besides confusion because it's just impossible to comprehend. Comprehend. DMT is one hell of a drug. It's the only drug I've ever taken where it felt like whatever was going on was realer than this reality. It's a truly surreal experience that I wouldn't describe by either good or bad. It's something else. Strange is honestly the best way I could describe it. So don't smoke DMT just because you want to see some cool visuals because it's much much more than that. The only situation I'd recommend smoking DMT is if you're like me and just too damn curious and fascinated about this drug. Then in that case, I say go for it, but just be ready for some intense ass surreal shit. But yeah, those are my thoughts on DMT and really quickly I want to talk about the direction of this channel because in my past I've said this channel is not going to become a drug channel and then, you know, I proceeded to upload like 5 videos about drugs. And let me just say, 
this might become a drug channel but it also might not I, I really don't know what i want this channel to be at this point the channel has absolutely no direction and i mean honestly i just upload whatever videos i think sounds interesting i don't know i don't want to limit myself to only posting about one topic like only posting about music or only posting about drugs i'm i'm just gonna post about whatever the fuck i want to post about you know shit dog if that sounds interesting to you or you just like my personality fucking subscribe dog so while i may not know exactly what kind of content i will be making in the future i can guarantee the content will be fired so make sure y'all subscribe because trust me y'all do not want to miss out on those beanie kowloon uploads and as always peace out doggy let's get lost tonight you could be my black kate moss tonight play secretary on the boss tonight and you don't give a fuck what they all say right awesome the christian and christian dior damn they don't make them like this anymore I